just about ready to roll showing the slab in today's game Tarek Skubal and Singy we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with the runners in scoring the position game. most guys the they get a little players. tight they start to Allow. aim the baseball but for, for some Google reason Google. he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout that one hit to right and that'll get down for a hit so a man on base to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. But the, the way defenders team, track down three, balls two, these days, I mean, one, both one. from the infield and two, in the two, outfield, one. there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in nope. there, and he ball found one. a way. Juan Soto in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Verdugo gets his lead at first. Nobody out. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel a four more. The pitch misses outside, and the count is two and two. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. He'll circle the bases. That's his fourth home run of the series. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one finds its way through. Batting four. The catcher, number 28. And at first... And next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that's off the inside edge, and it's one and one. Judge on the run. Cut on and miss. Oh, and they got him. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. One out, base is empty. Next offering is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. Throws the first in time. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Juan Soto. Well, Boog, he's had a huge impact in this series. I mean, six RBIs already. He's really raised the bar for himself. Now, they're not just hoping, but they're expecting more of the same from him. And since we're lucky enough to be calling this game, so am I. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. 
And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And pitching here today, Nestor Cortez Jr. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Popped up right side. Torres gets under it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Now at the plate, Kerry Carpenter. That's in there. It's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Colt Keith stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. Two outs, space is empty. That ah. one finds the zone and a count two and one. There's a strike. Fly ball down the line. Verdugo running hard. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Pitch misses. And a full count now. Inside ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line and into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Check on the runner. Keith back in on a dive. Just off the inside corner, and it's two and two. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Keith off the first with two away. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Judge is under it. Brings it in for the third out. 
So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the second here at Comerica. It's the Yankees two and the Tigers nothing. New inning getting started. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. DJ LeMayhew. The wind of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. 1-0. and oh. And that one is lifted in the air. Meadows makes a nice running catch. Here's Glaber Torres. In hey. for a strike, and it's 0-1. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. To first, oh. and Glaber Torres retired. Batting it. The third base. Two outs, bases empty. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Baez fires over to first. And the inning is over. Down in order, go the Yankees as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Back here in Detroit, bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Lyme Madris. And a pitch. Just missed. Left hand hitter waits. On a line, base hit. So a level of board to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Parker Meadows will hit next. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Upstairs. Nobody out. Runner at first. Close, but called a ball. And now 2-0. Oh. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. 2-0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. Strike two. The Tigers trailing by two. Bottom half of inning number two. On the ground a second might be two. There's one. How about that double play? I think four, six, three double plays like that are a bit tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. And here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. That's in there, and the count even at one. That one ripped. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We play two full. It's the Yankees two, and the Tigers nothing. <laughs> On
out of the third Anthony inning. Volpe. And stepping in for the Yankees, the Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. Scooble back to work. Scooble oh goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2018. Oh, the next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. But why to kick the pitch? That one fouled off two and two. And now the lefty. Line drive to short and caught. Now that the left Alex Verdugo. So the lineup flips over. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Singled and scored his first time. That one finds the zone. One one. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really the locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, it's a really nice pitch. Soto stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Right through there for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Line to left, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's a big power threat. Aaron Judge. And Judge spoils that one. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And there's a hit around third. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Runner at first with two away. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. That one close, rule the ball. And yeah, that's ball one. Two outs. Swing and a bouncer. Madris. He takes Got it himself him. to the bag, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the DH. Zach McKinstry. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. A one down. Good one eye one. right there. One and one. Fought off foul. And the pitch. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. That one off the mark. The count now two and two. And Great another ball. ball. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Down the line. And a foul ball. And that's, that's too high. Good. Ball four. Good. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. So do you, you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Javier Baez, the next to hit, takes ball one. The lefty to one on. Makes a sliding stop. To second, that's Go. one. That's to out. first, not in Great. time. Great effort there. Up next, the tie -tie. No one <laughs> So the batting order turns over, and here is Matt Veerlin, 0 for 1 so far. First nope, pitch, and he just misses. Count 1 and 0. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. The pitch lifted in the air right center field judge getting an angle on it nabs it the throw is wild and it gets away up next to the Tigers the right, the right fielder, fielder. Kerry. 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 and next up for the Tigers Kerry Carpenter he was a strikeout victim his first time Ball nope. one, no strikes. And that's a pitch one, early no in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help that's from the umpire. Two. That misses. And that's ball two. Step off, throw to first. Nice. Baez back in safely. Baez leads off first with two down to the inning. Off that's the mark there. Two. And that's ball three. And a four pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't three. even close. Colt Keith now at the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Yeah, there's a ball. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Can't That's find it here. That's six straight balls. Two and oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Tigers strand a pair. They trail in this one, three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Now here's John Carlos Stanton. The pitch. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike oh, one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive oh, side. Count. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've oh. made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. Got him 
him swinging. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, yeah, I think. But, that's you know, that's good composure right there. He yeah, found yeah. a way to come back with Lamele. another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. LeMayhew, batting with one down, takes a strike. And that one wrapped foul. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Hey. And now too long. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Labor. Two outs, bases empty. Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. it off still one and two the wind in the pitch and this another ball down. not even count. close there and it's a full count two down nobody on fouled off again and it remains three and two Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Up the middle, and that one handled. See, no, fantastic good. effort, but that extends the inning. The two outs. You just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done, just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time, it's a double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So two down. And now, Anthony Volpe. He's 0 for 1. And that's too high. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swing in a minute. And it's one and two. He can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Oh, that's the shortstop the takes the ball. Two on, two outs. That one misses, and that's ball three. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Alex. Back to the top of the lineup, Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Ball well, one low. Tigers bullpen with some action. Alex Fiedo getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Torres, the runner at third. Cabrera at second. Volpe at first. Oh, two out of the inning. 
And another ball. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. That one hammer, but pulled foul. And a good eye there. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Base is loaded. Two down. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Rogers drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. And the Yankees leave them loaded. But they lead it 3-0. Four. Here's Gio Urshela. Urshela. The third baseman. Gio Urshela. And a pitch. Hard hit. Right side. Throws to first in time. And a quick out number one. The bat. The first baseman. Bly. Bly Madrid. Up now for the Tigers. One for one with a single so far. Headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Yankees up by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the oh. drop third strike, two gone. You hear people talk about letting oh, the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting through. approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Meadows oh, in the point. box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Got hey. him looking. And he did not like the call. Tigers failed to make any noise. Still down 3 nothing. Soto's batting stance oozes with personality. It's one of the most recognizable in the game, dude. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And now he's falling behind Judge. Judge rips that one. Going gone! His 43rd home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 4 nothing.
already playing with the lead and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient and it paid off. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That misses the zone. And a count one and two. Madris steps on He's first out. for the out. Now that right fielder, Giancarlo. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. That's In there, and it's on one. And ball one. One and one. The one one. No. Inside. And that one hammered Deerland. Ranging back. To the running track. Makes the catch. <laughs> one scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. We head to the bottom we of the go. fifth. Yeah. The now here's Rogers. the Detroit catcher, the Jake catcher. Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. Rogers. And a pitch. Aye. Late on that fastball. Well, these Tigers just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And here it comes. That takes low for ball one. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. You, know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Double play ball to second. Torres over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Javier Baez. All for one hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That's in there. It's 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict one ball, baseball. One strike. That misses the zone, and now it's even 1 and 1. The pitch. Wouldn't That's chase that two. time. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Man at second. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball in the lead outer. Wow. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Here's the left fielder, Matt Veerling.
First pitch misses. Rogers at second with two down. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Detroit. They trail it here. 4 nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Alex Faedo. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Here's DJ LeMayhew. The designated hitter. DJ LeMayhew. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour, so... The ball isn't exactly jumping off the rubber, but they're finding a way to make it work. Swings and misses, and one away. Now back. Here comes Glaber Torres. Labor one for two. Torres. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. Moving in the bullpen. Number 60. Up and loosening in the pen. One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. Glaber goes. Swing and a miss. Throw a second. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit-and-run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Gonna miss. He was late. Strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. And another ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees four and the Tigers nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. The line of the pitch. Just oh, missed. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Tosses across the first, out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. That one finds the zone. 1-1. One, one. Keith, in his rookie season, 22 years old. And he was a fifth-round pick in 2020. Pitches in there. And a count is 0-2. And that's a little bit high. The Tigers down by four here in the bottom of the sixth. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching Number is getting three. ahead of the count. Three. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. The 1-0. -oh. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. That's a little bit low. Two balls, one strike. That That's one three. misses. Three and one. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two oh, balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The bat. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. Outfield playing pretty shallow. On the ground. And that's just foul. And the 0 1. Just oh, off down. the outside edge. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two on, two outs. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still one and two count. Stays alive. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. The Yankees four and the Tigers nothing. And a pitch. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Swings through that. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone. And that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Right-handed reliever. This one smoked out to left. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Now battle. The left field. 
back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's Alex Verdugo. One for three. And that one a little below the knees. And it's one to know. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. In the air right field pretty well struck Carpenter going back on this one and caught on the warning track. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there almost got out of here thanks to the win it's whipping right now. Here's Juan Soto and it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. That one, one misses in the dirt. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these pitchers really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Pitch is in the dirt, and the count is even two and two. Out to short. Baez fires over to first. They get the out on Soto, and that is that. So they make short work of them there. Seventh inning stretch time. The Yankees four, and the Tigers nothing. And we're back, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. The Tigers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. As the lefty gets to work. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Now oh, sorry, one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 50 getting ready to go. Cousins also getting ready. The wind of the pitch. And that's a little bit high. Two and one. The Two lefty balls. closing What's in that? on 100 pitches. Right through there for a strike. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now the And next to hit for Detroit, Zach McKinstry. McKinstry. And a foul ball. The Tigers down by four here the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Tracks it down for the out. And there are two down. Now Two outs, space is empty. Oh, yeah. Bobby Baez digs in right side. That's Ball, outside. That's out. Ball one. Glover to right field. Way back. Gone. A gigantic blast. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they close the gap. It's 4 1. That one just sounded different. Man, yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball, and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to follow that. to the top of the order now. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. That's a strike. It's 0-1.
two outs. That one pushed foul. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And that is the inning. Tigers get one back on the strength of this solo shot. It's now a 4-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Will Vest. Now, and one thing on him, he's been really good this Number season at keeping the ball in the park. Where? Not an easy guy to take deep. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, and it starts with Aaron Judge. And he deals. That one a little bit high. Ball one. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Holton getting loose for A.J. Hinch. And the right-hander deals. And another ball. Judge spoils that one. Two one now. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to kick into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position now. There are several ways that they can get this run across. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. And that one off the outside edge. High fly ball out to left field. Thierland under it. And out number one on the grab. Up next to the Yankees. The right field. Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Looks like they want to set up the double play. Intentional walk will make it first and second with one gone. Now that designated hitter. DJ. So one out with two LeMahieu. aboard. And now the DH, DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Two on, one out. That one drilled left field, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 5-1, and that's a double. Picks himself up at RBI. Just a solid the swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Glaber Torres. First pitch and he just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out there to center. Meadows 
settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tags for third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's 6 1. Number 60 gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Now the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera, a switch hitter batting right. That Aye. one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Man on second, two down. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Man at second. Going to count one and two. Kicks and deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the pitch just missed. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. The pitch. Come on and miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. Yankees six, and the Tigers one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 50. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And now, Gary Carpenter. The, the right field. Gary Carpenter. And a pitch. Out to short. Slings it across. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good two seam action now right there. Out. Running away the from the batter. Easy. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. Keith. And up next for Detroit, Colt Keith. the zone and a called strike activity in the bullpen Luis heel getting loose out there for Aaron Boone righty to the plate now oh, a check damn. swing but he held up One one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. Oh, that's low. In the air, left field. Verdugo gets under it and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The third base is number 13. Two Gio. outs, base is empty. Gio Urshela up now for the Tigers. On, 
There's a strike, 95 of that one. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. At the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Out to short, Volpe. That ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Through eight full, Yankees six, and the Tigers one. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. Third ball drops in there. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count even one and one. There's a strike. Nothing but curveball so one far ball. in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. Kicks and fires. Base knock center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Now, man, now, there are now. a lot of Let's hits there. Alex Verdugo. Now it's going to be Alex Verdugo. And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Volpe aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air, left side. Deerland on his way over. Deerland grabs it on the run. Man at first, the first and now the first baseman, Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Going gone! Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 8-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One out, base is empty. Aaron Judge digs in now. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Another hit. I mean, these types of performances at the plate don't come around too often. This is pretty special. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now, here is Austin Wells. Left-hand batter waits. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Man at first, one away. One ball. 
in the dirt but kept close well done behind the dish the pitch center field Meadows has this one sized up makes the grab for the second out the bat the, the right field right John Carlo Stanton so a man aboard John Carlo Stanton getting ready to hit outfield playing very deep not wanting anything over their heads And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. Two runs across in the inning. Here at the top of the ninth. Not close with no that friend. one. Ball two. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Ball, that's in. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Tyler Holt gets the call from the pen. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. First and second, two down. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Ah. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. That's off the, the mark. Now one and two. Right. Down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now eight to one. Back after this on the show. Last chance for home team. And here's the first baseman, the first Lyman baseman. Driss. Driss. The pitch. All yep. one there. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Here comes a pitch. Nope. And exactly. another ball. And that one ripped to left. Fair ball. Clearly seeing the ball very well now in this one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And next up for the Tigers, Parker Meadows. Just missed. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Madris on at first. Nobody out. Nope. 
Next Ball pitch two. misses, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. 2 and 0. Oh. Looked Ball like three. it was a little bit up. And here it comes. There's a strike. Three and one. Right through there for a strike. Three, two. That one, 95 to finish him off. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Rodgers stands in now and watches strike one. Outside low. And one and one. One and one. The Yankees up big in this one here in the last half of inning number nine. That one ripped the foul. Grounder might be two. Over to Torres. Back to first double play. And that's the ball game. A little side relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for this team today. And this one finishes with a final of eight to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.